Hey guys, it's Danielle. Today is the first day of book Tubathon, which I am participating in this year. I am super excited about it. I have been watching BookTube for a year now and I'm just ready. I'm ready to participate. However, today's challenge is one that I'm not going to be participating in because today's challenge is to make a book domino thing and my house is a mess. There is nowhere in my house that I would be able to set anything up and not show you how horribly messy my house is. So I will be abstaining from today's video challenge, but that's okay. Today I'm going to show you my TBR for the Booktubeathon. I am just now getting around to making this and putting this up on the first day of Booktubeathon rather than previous prior to the Booktubeathon because I went book shopping on Saturday and one of the challenges kind of hinged on that. So anyway, here are the books that I'm planning to read this week. So the first challenge is to read a book with blue on the cover, and for this I have chosen Mind Games by Kirsten White, which I've already started. I started at midnight last night, and I am about almost halfway through. I'm 103 pages in, and it's 237 pages long. So I feel like I can definitely get this done today and move on to my next book. Challenge number two is to read a book by an author whose last name shares the first letter of your last name. That was a mouthful, but my last name starts with B and I really didn't have a lot of options here, but I finally did find something. So I will be reading Two Way Street by Lauren Barnholt. This is a YA slash new adult, I'm not sure, um, contemporary kind of love story. I found this at a garage sale for like a buck earlier this summer, so I uh, had heard of it, so I just went ahead and picked it up. So now I get to read it during the Booktubeathon. It's the longest book I have on my TBR, so it's not that long though. I think I can get it done. Challenge number three is to read someone else's favorite book. I asked my Facebook friends to tell me their favorite book, and I got a lot of answers but some I had read already, some were really long, and then there were a few that were contenders, but I didn't own any of them. So it kind of hinged on what I could find this weekend. Couldn't find any of the books at the Half Price of Books clearance sale that I went to, but I did go to Target afterwards, so I went ahead and picked up The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, which is one of my best friend's favorite books. This is really short and I've heard really great things about it. I've never read a Neil Gaiman book before, so I'm looking forward to seeing what I think about it. Challenge number four is to read the last book you acquired, which is why I couldn't put my TBR up before this weekend because I was going book shopping on Saturday. So I bought a bunch of books at the clearance sale and a couple at Target and Walmart afterwards. So I chose one of the ones I picked up on Saturday, and I went with a really, really short one, so I will be reading Mikado by William Schwenk Gilbert. This is the um, play libretto to Gilbert and Sullivan's opera, The Mikado, and I'm a music major, so I mean this is kind of educational too, but it's teeny teeny tiny and it won't take very long to read at all. For the next two challenges, I picked a couple of graphic novels. They're quick and easy to read during a readathon. Challenge number five is to read a book without letting go of it. So I am picking up Rat Queens Volume 1, Sass and Sorcery. I can definitely read this in a sitting, obviously, and I've heard amazing things about this on BookTube, so I'm really looking forward to giving this comic book series a go. And challenge number six is to read a book you really want to read. So I am picking up Captain Marvel Volume 2, Down, by Kelly Sue DeConnick. I am so excited to read this. I have wanted to read it ever since I finished Volume 1, but I didn't have it, and then it finally arrived in the mail, and then it was getting close to Booktubeathon, and I knew I was going to need it for Booktubeathon, so I've been holding on to it for this occasion. I'm really, really, really excited to get into it. The seventh and final challenge is to read seven books during the week. Since there are only six challenges before that, it's kind of a freebie challenge. You can read whatever book you want. I am picking up Perfect Lies by Kirsten White because this is the sequel and conclusion to the Mind Games duology, which I have the first book in my TBR as well. So it's a perfect opportunity to knock another series off my list. So these are the seven books that I'm planning on reading this week. Hopefully I can get them all done. We will see. I believe in myself and you believe in me too, right? I will see you again tomorrow with another video, hopefully. I will be doing updates every day, I think. We'll see. So look forward to that 
from me tomorrow. So I will put up another video tomorrow, cross my fingers, and I'll see you then. Bye!